Did Arabs and Jews, I need to finish that one. They used to live in peace. How does he know this? My grandparents told me I'm not from here. I'm from Jenin, north of the West Bank. Right next to us is the wall. كانوا عندنا الاهالي يشتغلوا جوا باسرائيل الاهالي اه من عيلتك يعني كل البلد يشتغلوا جوا باسرائيل all of the people from my from my area used to work in israel اليهود and the jews مش الصهيونيين يهود not the zionists the jews يهود يوصلوهم would would give them a ride شغل في احترام متبادل towards them towards their houses so there was mutual respect between them what year was that in في اي سنه هذا حكي كان at uh, 1999. <laughs> Farwani. Min Farwana? Farwani. Min area. Okay. Farwani is the name of the mm. village. Okay. And they got along with their Jewish neighbors. What does he think changed? What? What changed? Why did it go from good to bad? Because of the wall and, and because and because they filled the heads of the Israelis with with ideas that we are terrorists. The, the Zionists filled, filled the heads of, of the Jews with the bad ideas about us. Who are the Zionists? The Zionists are those who came from the States and the immigrants who came. Okay. The problem is that I don't have an idea about this. Okay. Did she hear anything? We are in a, we are in a constant uh, struggle on the land of Palestine. And the relationship between us and Jews is always some, uh, a hostile uh, relationship and the Jews are, are an enemy. They have always been an enemy. Okay. 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 Um, so yeah, did Arabs and Jews get, uh, coexist before 1948? Yes, they were. Okay. Does he know that there were um, riots against Jews before 1948, like in the 20s and 30s? Okay.
Um, before 1948, did Arabs and Jews coexist? Yes, they did. Okay. Um, what, uh, describe that coexistence. What what happened? Uh, it was um, actually uh, they they been coexisting for years before that mm -hmm. uh, because Palestine wasn't only for Arabs. It's for uh, in terms of there's, there's, there isn't something called Arabs and Jews. There is Christians, Muslims, and Jews. Mm -hmm. Just to make it clear, and all these three were living together in Jerusalem, in all Palestine in general, because Jerusalem is the only city that can have all these three religions together. Okay. So did it, I guess the question here is, did it change in 1948? Yeah, it did. Okay. It did. After the aggression of the Israelis and uh, creating their state, they pushed all the Palestinians and transferred most of them to the West Bank and part of them to the, to the Arab countries, and that's where the conflict started. They confiscated the land, and inside of that, we don't want Arabs, and that okay. was a, a very uh, uh, prejudiced act. Okay. So, what about the person who's asking? I'm guessing that they're um, asking because there were uh, the Arab riots before, and Jews were hurt by Arabs. So, yes. so is, if there was coexistence, how come there were riots against Jews? Before the 1948? Before 1948, yes. Well, first of all, okay, do you know about the riots against Jews? No, uh, I don't okay. think there was riots. I think this is just a, a, a lie that was made up by the uh, Zionism movement that there's riots so they can just act against it. And you know, there wasn't. We were a very peaceful uh, nation or people or community of Arabs. I say, I, I, I can't say that. Muslims, Christians, and Jews. And Is your we, family from? My, my dad used to live in Jerusalem. Okay, yeah. Before 1948. Okay. And his neighbors were Jews, and his other neighbors were Muslims. And they just lived together as friends and neighbors. There was no problems. And this uh, riots. Uh, Propaganda is not accepted and it's a big lie and I don't like to discuss things that just was uh, Media directed to just change the conflict of what's going on We are a na I'll tell you something else. Mm -hmm. We are a nation that deserves to live, we deserves to have our independence. We are smart enough. Um, the only thing that I think the West is against us, against, uh, against our existence, we need our freedom. This is the oldest occupation ever in the history of humankind. I think it's about time for everybody to understand that this country has to be free. And I'm talking about now about the 1976 borders. 67. 67 borders with Jerusalem, the capital of Palestine. Yep. Did Arabs and Jews coexist before 1948? <laughs> Uh, I, I can tell you about uh, what I remember in the 80s, okay. not uh, 67. Okay. In the 80s we were living uh, both together. Uh, under, uh, Where was this? Where? In Bethlehem. In Bethlehem. There was yeah. no checkpoints, no wall, no settlements. Okay. It was all, uh, uh, we were all living... Uh, uh, like living the together? Area, together. Okay. Without any problems. Okay, so what changed? Changed the first intifada when uh, the Israelis killed the uh, uh, workers going to Gaza. Mm -hmm. uh, an Israeli man, he uh, uh, yeah, he killed killed them, and then uh, pe and then after that they start to ask people for taxes in whole West Bank and Gaza, and the problems start to happen with the people like the, the because. The government was controlling here is Israel, Israeli mm -hmm. government. Yep. But we were equal with Israelis. Mm -hmm. But then uh, we, 
that start to happen uh, as problems and they t- start to ask tax from people uh, okay. in, in uh, so do you think the... in Beit Sahur uh, in this area mm-hmm. it started strong okay. and then uh, it, it spread in all over do you think the intifadas both of them were a mistake no not a mistake it's so. a kind of, uh, of, of, of resist, uh, resist but, but before resistance. resistance against what before everything was equal everything was okay yeah but uh, we, we, we wouldn't have our uh, state that, that time we mm-hmm. were uh, under occupation also. So okay. It's all occupation uh, since '48. Okay. Okay. But we there was no problems. I didn't say there was no occupation. There was okay. no problems. Yeah. Okay. But then we have occupation, and, uh, but we didn't fight because no one no one teased us to fight or uh, uh, like you asked in the question about weapon. Yep. When I see a soldier with a weapon, it makes me want to, uh, or the exist of the wall and watchtower, it makes the people want to fight against him because we want him, we want that to to, to be uh, to, to go. Uh, but if there is no wall, no checkpoints, no soldiers, no weapon, we want uh, we want to uh, ask them to to leave. If there are no no settlements, no settlers, they come to take our lands. We won't fight uh, against that. Or, but okay, so the point of this actual question about before 1948 is that, if, for example, in Hebron in 1929, um, 70 Jews were killed by Palestinians. So there was no occupation, there was no. 29? 1929. So there was a massacre of Jews. So how did that happen yet? I don't know about uh, 1929. Okay, so you don't know about it. Um, okay. I've never heard about this story. But okay. كان في مشاكل بسيطة بين اليهود والعرب قبل 48 اللي هي على الحالتين على فكرة مش بس اللي هي بتقول لك اللي هي بتقول لك بين اثنين 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 But not like this problem. It's very, very, uh, very big problem. What, what, what's going on here in, in uh, Palestine? Mm-hmm. Especially uh, since, if you tell, if you ask me about uh, how was it uh, since '48, it's, it's now wo- uh, sorry, '80 in the '80s. Mm-hmm. It's now worse than before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it, even it's getting worse, not better. But, but you don't, you don't see the connection that it's worse because of the Intifada. You don't see that connection. No, it's worse because of the checkpoints and the. But the, but the, the checkpoints are because of the Intifada. It's yeah, the only reason. Yeah, but but uh, checkpoints because of intifada. Yeah. But intifada, why? What? What co- cause? Cause the intifada? Cause the intifada? What the Israelis did for us uh, in, the, in the 80s? Which is what? Describe what it. What, what was bad in the 80s? Explain that. Four or five workers. Four uh, workers in Gaza. Mm-hmm. That started with that, and then they started to uh, to uh, the people they here they have uh, their businesses in, in Palestine. They start to go to the to the people and they destroy their business. They take everything from their uh, shop. And they say you don't pay tax, so we we will uh, we will close your shop. And they throw everything out, and, and the people start to stop uh, this action. And uh, they killed another people from Palestine, and mm-hmm. then it, it, the problem became worse. Blew up, yeah. Yeah, and then every day clashes, and uh, mm-hmm. people died because we couldn't, we couldn't, we don't have a weapon at that time. Mm-hmm. We don't have anyone to to, to defend uh, our rights, mm-hmm. and also the uh, the rights of the refugees also. The, the also. Yani, from outside, from outside. Yep. all problems come uh, ups- uh, yani, all, all on over. top of each other yeah, yeah. and then uh, it's a, b- a huge one now okay huge problem and they, i think i think uh, there's the palestinians will what solves the palestinian problem is the right of return and the, to destroy the wall and to move the settlements and, uh, i think it's com- we have the hope that uh, one day we'll we'll have a solution the hope is still, mm-hmm. but uh, I, I don't see it uh, easy. It's very complicated, okay. almost impossible, because I don't think the Israelis will move this uh, wall, huge wall. They spend a lot of money, and they kick out the settlers, and they give us uh, their homes, or or they. I don't know how how they will solve this problem mm-hmm. because they make it very huge, very big problem. Omrim shalifne arbim v'shmone, ayudim va'aravim istadzo. ואחרי 48 זה התחיל להיות רע. האם זה נכון? בס אלפיק בכל לק, אינטי בכל לק. בכולו, אינו קבל 48 סנטי ל-1948 בכל ערב וליהוד, יעני מסתדרים אצטר, יעני מתפקין אצטר. ובעד 48 בלש לוודע יעני יתיבד עם בעדו. שו רעייק? צבע, זה שבו שמניח. לא, כזה יעני שו רעייק, יעני הזה לישי סח, הזה לישי... טבע, חטא אחד. חטא. טבע, חטא אחד. 
يعني بش يعني تكون من العربي والله هذا ودي يعني كمان عيد الخمر احنا بنرجع زمان الرسول يعني الرسول كان له جار يهودي صح ولا عام؟ صح إله كان الرسول إله جار يهودي صح ولا عام؟ يعني حتى يعني كان حط يعني بطريقه تعرف كيف يعني شوق وشغله زي هيك يوم الرسول فقده سامع فقده وراح لي على البيت زاره لكي مريض صح ولا عام؟ راح اسلم على اسلم على على ليش هذا؟Arabs and Jews coexist in peace before 1948. I think they were living in like uh, peace and coexistence and okay. only the war after that which makes like the conflict. Yeah. Uh, did yeah. they, okay, Same. so they all three. Yeah. So yeah. do they did, yeah. okay. did they know about do they know about the Arab riots in the twenties in the nineteen twenties and nineteen thirties and forties um Arab riots against Jews. Do they know about that? Arab? The Arab riots. Uh it's not here, it's not written. Um riots are like uh, um uh where where you uh, uh protest and people were throwing stones, uh, Jews were killed, Arabs were killed. It's like they were fighting each other okay. in the 20s, 30s, 40s. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there was something, but it's not like the, what, what's happening now. It's different. Okay. Does he think that Arabs and Jews coexisted in peace before 1948? Okay, the Arab the 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 I think they did live together, but I, I wasn't. There to see it. Okay. And everybody became nervous uh, on both sides, the Palestinian and the Israeli. Before 1948, in, in my opinion, there was security and safety. Arabs and Jews coexisted both together. And after 48, there was no longer any safety or security. It's true that I lived. Look, it's. Uh, I will say one thing that I have worked and lived in Israel and worked with Israelis. Oh. And when I used and when when I used to go and work in in Israel and then come back, there was safety and security. Since I was 12 years old. Since I was 12, I have been going to Israel and work. I used to leave school and then go work in Israel. And I used to have money with me. And I and I was living peacefully and securely. And I used to make money. Until 2003, and then the wall came and closed everything. And then we were no longer able to go into Israel, and then my life became here in Ramallah. And I thank God. I thank God 
that that he gives us control مش فاهم باتل الواحد يعني كيف يفكر و... I think God because because he he granted us the ability to think فبذكر الرب انه يعني هلا انا صار لي هون في رام الله تسع سنين I thank God that I have been living in Ramallah for nine years ف شغل كويس هون My work is good here كل. but it's not it's not good for everybody يعني في عمال بتيجي على محلات البطون بيشتغلوا بيكونوا يشتغلوا ب 70 شيكل فلما بده يحسب مصاريف واكل وشرب وشغلات زي هيك فما بيضل له غير يعني 30 او 20 شيكل اذا اذا بيكون متجوز بيروح مصاريف على البيت اذا ما كان متجوز ما بيعرف يوفر فيهم So if a, if a worker or a laborer works works in a in a construction site with uh, with cement he would make about 70 shekels if he has a family he can he can barely use like 30 shekels on them and then if he wasn't married he, he wouldn't know how to save from that money فانا بحكي ان شاء الله ربنا يكون يعني معنا كلياتنا ويعطينا حياه سعيده وافضل من هيك and i'm praying that god gives us a happy life and something better than this life وان شاء الله يعني يعني بفك الحصار والازمه اللي على وكمان في اسرائيل and hopefully they will and hopefully the 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 closure and the problems on our people will end and and also for the israelis ف يعني اتمنى حياه سعيده لل and i wish a happy life for all the countries فبشكر الرب and i thank god that i am still here